are you doing here, little buddy? Hey, have a rest. Just relax. Take a load off your feet. Welcome to Antimatters. Hello, everyone. A little Lassius update today. Basically, I owe Paul a alcohol-free pint. The second queen of the Lassius Niger is dead. My hypothesis of queen ants only having a fight once in their life seems to be completely false. But it is a study of one, so nothing is solid. In with the queen's abdomen, there's a few really fat grain mines as well. I think these might need dealing with. They're absolutely no threat to the ants, but they will start breeding really fast soon. They're just the result of sloppy cleaning, really. There's plenty of partially eaten crickets and hydrating jelly to fuel these little critters. I should have used a bowl, but hey, where there's sloppy cleaning, there's sloppy feeding as well. After a quick one minute clean, the little popper is clean and might free again. But I left their makeshift door alone, as despite it being made of literal rubbish, they spent a lot of time making it, so I got to at least pretend that it's really special. If I hoovered it up, they would be absolutely raging. In the tube, Vic, a victorious lone queen claims the horde of workers and brood as her own. There's so many cocoons at the moment, as pretty much every single one of the large larvae, and the medium ones to be honest, they've all grown up now and woven their little cocoon. There's easily a hundred. The latest wave of eggs is insane as well. There is a chance that all of these eggs came out of one queen, but at the minute I just can't believe that, so some of these must have been the dead queen's eggs as well. Just in eggs there must be at least 100 too. Hopefully they all develop. So what to do with this cowbag queen? <laughs> the experiment's over now, so I don't really need or want the colony anymore. I'm really hoping somewhere out there from the UK would like to adopt them. Ideally a first time keeper, but if you're interested, join Ants Anonymous Discord and drop me a message. I'll put an invite link to the Discord in the description below. Just tell me the reasons you want the girls. After a week, I'll just pick the best reason and send them on. Why would you want these girls though? So they're likely going to grow to, I'd say, 800 to 1000 workers this season, easily, if they're well fed. They're also cool little ants, Lassie Sniger. They're really easy to do most things with. They eat pretty much anything you feed them. They're not fussy at all. They're very resilient, so it's quite hard to make the queen die. She also lives for 25 years in a good scenario. They're great fun to watch. They're always up to something. They're also really easy to contain when they're small. At the minute, my barrier doesn't even work and they can walk straight over it, but they're still inside their setup and they haven't chosen to escape yet. <laughs> Finally, they're absolutely hilarious when they're mad. They're basically like the little chihuahuas of ants. The only reason I don't want to keep them is I've already got enough ants. If you are lucky enough to get your hands on these girls as well, all you really need to do is get some little jelly pots and some crickets and make sure they've got some water in either a test tube or a drinker. Just feed them once or twice a week and you're all set. So if you're interested, join up on the Ants Anonymous Discord and drop me a message. I also can't forget that I owe Paul a beer at Ankle. That's all for now though, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, thanks for watching, until next time may your ants live long and prosper, have a fabulous week and bye!